pushing for some common sense in Washington. This debt must be repaid. And giving Ohioans their money back. This week on the Senate Report. This week, the State Controlling Board voted to appropriate more than $2 billion in federal money to help cover more Ohioans in the Medicaid system. By accepting this federal money, the legislature was able to free up more than $400 million in state funds that would have been needed to cover some of those health care gaps. Well, rather than just spending the extra money, State Senator Chris Widener introduced a bill this week to return that money back to Ohio taxpayers in the form of a permanent, across-the-board income tax cut. Basically, in the current uh, budget that we have operating right now in Ohio, taxpayers are going to see a 10% cut by the second fiscal year, uh, two years from now, essentially, and this would add another 4% to that. So the cut will be 14% instead of 10% per year off all rates across the board in the state of Ohio. Our elected leaders in Ohio continue to show fiscal restraint. Unfortunately, the same can't be said in Washington, D.C., where the federal deficit is now more than $17 trillion. It is really important that we take the bull by the horns and deal with this issue as opposed to letting it solve itself, because free markets can solve a lot of problems, but they'll solve it in much more painful ways than we could if we solved it as policymakers and sort of bent the curve on our own. Former state senator and now congressman from Ohio, Steve Stivers, testified before the Senate Finance Committee this week on the new balanced budget amendment, which has been proposed in more than 20 states. Also speaking in favor of the balanced budget amendment was Bill Fruth, former mayor of Tiffin, Ohio, and currently the president of an independent economics research firm. Our entire economic and political structure is in jeopardy. And the only solution to this is to make it unlawful for them to borrow money anymore. And the means to do that is for the states to have conventions for proposing amendments. We need 34 states to do this, we're roughly at 19 now. And then the states can propose a balanced budget amendment and then ratify it afterwards. Finally this week, the Ohio State House is a grand old building full of great history. And like any famous place, a few of the stories about the State House involve the paranormal. Every October, the Ohio State House hosts Haunted State House Tours. It's a family friendly event, and it combines history and legend in one of the State House's most popular tours. It seems natural that a place like this, with its history, with how old it is, that it would have ghosts. So folks like to come out. I think folks like to come out, especially at night, to go through the Ohio State House because ultimately I think they feel like they're getting away with something. <laughs> Later this week, watch for a special Halloween video as we take you on that spooky tour of the State House as well as go behind the scenes and give you an in-depth look at how it's all put together and introduce you to some of the historical figures that are part of the tour. Well, that's all for this week. As always, you can keep up to date with us every day on our social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, at Ohio Senate GOP, or visit our website, ohiosenate.gov Republicans. Thanks for watching.